this is the type of work that the teams are doing. I mean, from that, how much is produced in the different parts. And it's different, actually, in different parts of... I'd like to share some major findings of the 2020 EMO Open Survey. Malaysia, which is a higher price than that of Thailand, goes to... Thank you very much for joining us today. Incredibly comprehensive exercise, really fundamentally composed of two parts. Uh, one is the crop is a yield survey, which is to determine the amount of... Well, in a sub point on that, um, I know you won't feel comfortable about it, but could you say something about corruption? Because the well, their income compared to other uh, staples, I think it probably contributes. 20 years now. It's really the purpose being to assess the scope of cultivation in terms of hectare. So an increase in price, and you'd say that's a pretty steep uh, price increase, $160. I'll be a copy of the report there. So thank you very much, and of course you're welcome to uh, contact us if you have any The, the gold triangle, in a sense, is back in the, in the, in the opiate business. Um, we, after many, many years, had seen it drop off, and now we see this sudden resurgence. And so we are deeply concerned, because if this continues on this trajectory for a few more years, and the economy remains in the state that it's in now, it's highly likely to therefore remain in that trajectory, we're going to be looking at a significant broader impact on the societies around that country. It will start going further afield. Um, currently, the Australian market is fed by the Golden Triangle, as is uh, all of the regional market, uh, China, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, the countries I've touched on, that are consuming it. They're getting this product. But it will start going further because of the desirability of it. So we're going to start seeing this mushroom, in a sense. We experienced a lot of people left opium farming. They had some assistance from some programs run by us and others, but fundamentally, people left opium farming for other employment. It's not a desirable form of employment, but those employment opportunities are, are now gone as a result of the situation in the country. Um, so because of the increases in the area of opium poppy cultivations, combined with the uh, amount of potential yield per hectare, the opium, uh, opium production in 2022 in Myanmar reached uh, nearly 800 tons. Uh, up to 2 billion US dollars have been generated from this opiate economy in 2022. Uh, the farmer's cut is quite small, uh, but nonetheless it's increased quite a bit because of the increases in price of opium and the amount of opium as well. We were able to find that the two high areas with the high density of open public cultivations share some characteristics uh, on the, uh, the area challenged by the governance issues and socioeconomic uh, and the security situation uh, in that country.